Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. It's July 4th. Happy 4th of July. You have plenty of time to plant midsummer cucumbers, beans, zucchini, squash. Today I'm going to show you how I quickly transitioned this bed over from peas to growing cucumbers and in the bed over here on my right I'm going to grow some green beans. I love starting things in, as transplants. These are started on June, I think, 19th or so, June 16th. This is two weeks of growth. You're better off starting a bunch of cucumbers, zucchini, squash, beans in a little flat, put it in a corner of your deck, let them grow for two weeks, and then when you have space in your garden, you can come and just pop them into place. So I'm going to drop in some beans, some cucumbers into this space. First thing I do, any granular fertilizer, organic granular fertilizer, around the 555 NP and K, doesn't matter if it's up or down a few numbers, and just be generous with it. Toss it in and that's going to set up our soil. Same thing over on the other side. Got some potatoes that I found in here that were left over from last year. They re-sprouted and grew. Just a good helping of the organic granular fertilizer and then go ahead and mix it in. I'm also going to add in some soil on the top leave room for mulch. We're going to mulch everything when we're done. But if the soil looks good, just mix in your granular fertilizer, you can get to planting. Let me add my soil and we'll do just that. We'll get to planting these cucumbers. So this space is cleared out. I have cattle panel coming up for my trellis. You definitely want to trellis your cucumbers um, and your beans. Now, July 4th, cucumber plants from transplants and even from seed because the soil is so much warmer the temperatures are so much warmer, obviously, lots of rain. They're going to mature much more quickly than what you might read on a seed pack or read online. So from here, these will be ready to harvest, I think, the first cucumbers in 30 days. So you have a lot of time to plant second and third waves of your warm season crops. Um, I recommend that you give it a try because as the cucumber plants in my garden are, you know, fading out, I have transplants ready to go. And again, I like growing them in those flats. Pick them up at my seed shop. You can get 32 plants into there, stick it in the corner of your deck, and just tend to it. And then again, you can just drop them in just like this. So just pop the plant out. And in a space about this big, I wouldn't grow more than four plants. Um, I'm going to take the one out of there. You know, two plants, four plants, the more plants you have, the more you're going to have to to prune, but that's okay. Basic, simple hole. Drop the cucumber plant in, and if I can do this one-handed with a camera, you can easily do it. And then just press them in. So those are lemon cucumbers. On the other side, let's see if I can get this out easily. There we go. This is a straight eight, your standard cucumber. Just drop that in there. You don't want to go much past the level here, but you can, you can, you know, go up a little bit. They will actually root out of there. Now, some of the key tips for cucumbers, it's not so much the fertilizer. They love water. If you ever wonder why, after a big rainstorm, your garden takes off, it's because often we underwater. And the more you keep moisture on the surface roots, they're going to send surface roots out all over. They're going to send a deep root down. The more you keep the moisture here, the better and more quickly they're good to grow. So now that these are in, I'm going to mulch about an inch of shredded hardwood. You can use any mulch that you want. And then we're going to water this in with a fish emulsion. Let me do the same thing on the other side with the beans. Not much different than this. I decided not to add any soil to this. It looks pretty good. You know, nothing fancy. Just give the plants what they need. So on this side, standard Kentucky pole beans. And these are Asian beans or yard long beans. They get nice, really long, these red noodle like um, beans. They were gifted to me from a viewer, which I really appreciate. So, in a space like this, you could do two, four, six, eight pole beans. I'm putting in six. Overcrowd them. Don't be afraid to put more in there than you need. You can always remove plants if they don't look right. But, same setup, you know, basic fertilizer. We put the holes in. And again, if I can do this, one-handed. Let's get that in camera. 
you can certainly do this. It's that fast from transplants. So again, I'm in Maryland zone seven. My heavy frost really won't come until later October and it seems to be going uh, later and later every season. So you need about 60 days of warm weather before frost and you can get in your cucumbers, squash, zucchini, pole beans, a lot of your summer crops. If your garden is beat up, get rid of those plants, put in some new ones. Just gonna do about an inch of the shredded hardwood mulch over here. You can use anything you want for mulch. Keeping these watered well is gonna be the key to success for your cucumber plants. Okay, let me finish this up and we'll wrap up. This side's mulched up. We put down the granular fertilizer, have the fish emulsion. If you don't have fish emulsion, any water soluble fertilizer works. Just to repeat, you know the theme of my other videos, the organic granular fertilizer slowly breaks down with soil biology and feeds over weeks and months. The water soluble is immediately available to the plant. That's why you're using two kinds. So once you put this down, if you want to sprinkle some more granular down, that's fine. And then you really want to soak in the new area where you planted. And then just cover the area just like that. Because these plants will put out surface roots, they'll have nitrogen waiting for them. And then the same thing on the other side. Soak in your beans, doesn't hurt them. And before I water this space, let me just throw down the handful of granular. And just follow the instructions on your fish emulsion or your water soluble fertilizer. And these plants are good to go. You're not going to really have to do a lot more feeding of these plants. This is plenty. If the plants look like they're struggling, hit them again with the water soluble nitrogen. If not, maybe a light feeding water soluble, you know, three weeks from now when they start producing. And then again, you know, middle of August or something just to give them a boost. But these are good to go. It's that easy to plant up beans, cucumbers from transplants. You can do that with squash, other warm weather crops. Hope you enjoyed the video. And this gives you some confidence to get planting now. You didn't miss out. You have a second and third wave of warm season crops or your summer crops that you can get into the garden. Please check out my seed shop at the Rusted Garden dot com and if you want to pick up the starting supplies they're all there at the seed shop thanks for watching